Now in our editor, obviously, once you've extracted all the exercise files, you've got CSS folder, dbase, where you have this uh, comments.sql file, which we've imported in the previous video. Then we have images folder with a sprite.png, which contains basically, what does it contain? It contains basically our up and down, um, obviously, images together with the hover status. Then we have index.php with a structure of the page already in place, obviously, linking to our CSS and uh, JavaScript files. Inside of the JS folder, we have core.js, which is blank, and the latest version of jQuery. So inside of our index.php, before the doc type definition, we're going to start with opening and closing PHP tag. First of all, we're going to require once the file called rate, which is inside of the classes folder, rate.php. Now we're going to instantiate a new class, so object rate equals new rate. And after this, posts equals object rate get posts method. Okay, now if we save the file and inside in the, in the root of our project, if we create a new folder called classes, and inside of this classes folder, we're going to create the file called rate.php. Inside of the rate.php, we start with the new class definition, so class rate and two curly brackets. Nothing too scary, obviously. Okay, now the first uh, thing we're going to do is to define a few uh, properties. The first property will be uh, private and will be called object DB. By default, it will be null. Then we go for private underscore DB host. In my case, the host of the database is localhost. So I'm using localhost. Then we go for private again. Next one is DB name which is uh, for database name, which will be comments. Next one is private DB user, database user, obviously uh, root in my case. Then we go for another private DB password, which is password. Obviously you have to fill it in with the right details as well. Then we have private uh, table one, which is comments. Then we go for another private table two, which is ratings. And then the last one, which is a public property underscore user. Okay, after all our properties, it's time to define a constructor. So public function underscore underscore construct. Now, constructor obviously is executed whenever we instantiate the class, so uh, it will be uh, obviously executed at this point here. So whatever is inside of this constructor will execute when we instantiate the class. So we uh, we pass one parameter, which will be user by default equals null. And what we're going to do here is basically assign the value to our user property. So user equals is an empty user so if we pass the parameter then we assign this uh, uh, value to our uh, user property so user otherwise what we're going to do is to get the ip address of the current uh, of, of the current visitor basically so we get get and function and then remote underscore addr for remote address so now that we have our properties and our constructor done Let's move to the next video and create a few methods.